What is going on guys? John here for another food review and today we are doing a review from a place called Scrimp Shack, not Shrimp Shack. I almost did a tongue twister there. Scrimp Shack. Uh, this is a seafood location. Uh, they have locations in a few different states but uh, they just popped up one a few months back near my local area so I decided to try it out. Uh, we got their fried shrimp platter, but they have things from fish sandwiches, uh, all types of seafood, po' boys, all types of good stuff. Uh, we got the 12 fried shrimp platter with mac and cheese as the side with a delicious cheer wine to drink. Uh, it was all for about 11 bucks, so let me get you in here for a close-up. All right, guys, here we have the Scrimp Shack fried shrimp platter. Uh, they look pretty reasonable size, not too shabby. Got the nice creamy looking mac and cheese, the cheer wine, and the sauce. Scrimp Shack cocktail sauce. All in all, looks pretty reasonable for about 10 bucks, so let's try it out, guys. All right, let's eat. It is time to try out the Scrimp Shack shrimp platter. Here's the cocktail sauce. Uh, I guess let's go in with one just by itself. Here we go. Definitely some seasoning in that breading. Pretty tasty stuff so far. It's like a nice, well-seasoned twang in the breading. My goodness. Cocktail sauce is bursting with flavor. Pair that with the already existing flavor of the breading. This is fantastic. Let's go in for some of this mac and cheese here. Okay, creamy. Not much flavor in this, kind of disappointing. I was expecting this to be on the same level of a flavor as the shrimp, but it's all right. Good amount of breading on these two. It's not, uh, you know, too much breading. It's the right amount, just enough to coat it, but uh, you're really focusing on the meat of the shrimp itself, not just overpowering it with like a bread, a loaf of bread size breading, so pretty tasty. All right, guys, so the Scrimp Shack Shrimp Platter, uh, 12 shrimp, uh, one side, and a drink included for around 11 bucks is a fantastic deal, in my opinion. The breading on the outside of these shrimp is so far above and beyond what you would expect from a fried shrimp platter. Uh, you can tell they're hand-breaded. The, the seasoning that they put in the breader just makes them so delicious. You can just eat them by themselves. And then you just pair that with their cocktail sauce. It just amplifies the entire experience. So very, very tasty, very, very flavorful. Uh, I just wish the mac and cheese was in that same ballpark of, you know, exceptional flavor. It was just kind of, it was creamy, it was tasty, but it was like nothing really set it apart in any other way from any other mac and cheese. So not the best in my opinion. Uh, but overall, guys, really, really high quality, really, really flavorful and tasty. Uh, just not the best sides. I'll have to go back and, you know, try out some other stuff. But I would not recommend getting the mac and cheese. So... Overall, guys, it's going to get a 9 out of 10, the Scrimp Shack Shrimp Platter. That is a tongue twister. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. See you later.